So we're talking about how to wear red lips because I think it can be kind of daunting for some people. And this is not sponsored, but it's featuring Lisa Eldridge's, Lisa Eldridge's new lipsticks. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm trying these for the first time, but she has like perfect undertones, different undertones. So we're gonna talk about that. Okay, so red lips. Now to understand what red lip will look best on you, you have to understand a little bit about your undertone which can be tough, I know, trust me. I have very olive skin, I have very warm skin. So the colors that look best on me are peachy tones. Like for blush, I usually go for peachy tone, warmer tones. Right now I'm actually wearing pretty cool tones. Personally, I think you have a little bit more freedom when it comes to a lip color. I love a fiery orangey red, but sometimes that warmth can make your teeth look a little bit yellow. So you wanna be a little bit careful. Typically a deeper, darker, more blue toned red is going to make your teeth look a lot more white. Don't ask me why, that's just been my experience. Logically, I would think that that blue tone in that lipstick would offset the yellow in your teeth and make it stand out even more, but it doesn't seem, it doesn't appear to, it doesn't appear to work that way. Um, so these are all by Lisa Eldridge. They are her velvet lipsticks. I wanna give you some swatches so that you can see the difference. I don't know why I zoomed you in so quickly. This is ribbon, which appears to be, I don't know how she would describe it. I can see a little bit of warmth, maybe a little bit more blue tone in it. Fucking swatched stunningly. Can we like, are you kidding? It doesn't smell like anything, but like, do these not look like so beautiful? Oh, so excited. All right, this is morning fiery orange red, okay? Now, if you compare these two shades, you can see that morning looks a lot more orange. When you see them next to each other, you see this really stand out as like orange, more warm, more yellow tones in it. This has much more blue tones in it compared to morning. Next, we have jazz, which is much darker, almost more purpley toned. So now that we have them all next to each other, you can see how much more blue and purple there is in this. It's basically like a much deeper version of this actually. And when it's sandwiched between these two colors, you can see how morning just looks like straight up orange, right? And then finally we have dragon. Oh, I'm so glad that I spaced them out this way. So this again is a very, very warm shade. It's almost like a brick red color. So you can see the undertones of Morning and Dragon are similar. And then the undertones of, I forgot what this is called, Jazz and Ribbon. Jazz and Ribbon are much more blue toned. Now me personally, I think that this red is going to be pretty flattering on everybody because it's bright enough that it's more saturated. So you end up getting just like more vibrance, which in turn seems like to, it leans more towards like some warmth without being orange, like this shade. These two are obviously more like muted in terms of color and saturation versions of these. This is obviously a little bit darker, this is a little bit darker, but the, the colors themselves, if you squint at them, are more muted. They look um, less bright than these two, if that makes sense. All right, so I just swatched her lip liner compared to a Lime Crime lip liner. This is Lime Crime, this is her lip liner, which is called Ribbon. Ribbon is obviously supposed to go with the lipstick. So it is much more cool toned. It's got a blue undertone. And then the Lime Crime one is a lot more warm. So what is this called? Firebird. So I'm going to use Firebird to line my lips. Let's go in with Morning. <sighs> that formula is so beautiful. Oh, it is so beautiful. Wow, I can't stop staring at it. I love it so much, it's so beautiful. Okay, quick review of this lipstick. The most incredible formula. I'm obsessed, I absolutely love it. It's super pigmented, but like light, incredibly lightweight, not drying, looks matte, perfect. I haven't been excited about a bullet lipstick in a really long time. It's perfection, it's absolutely stunning. Look at that, it's so saturated. Oof, this is what I wanted that um, Selena Gomez like matte lip whatever that I didn't like. That's what I wanted that formula to be like. This is perfection. Absolutely just 
mind blown, love it. Especially for someone who overlines their lips. Sometimes when you have just like a solid red color on your lips, it just looks a little bit disconnected. Maybe if you wear a full face of makeup like me, you're contouring the rest of your face. Putting one color on your lips sometimes can look just like a little bit disconnected. So something that I like to do is to sort of contour the outer part of my lip. This is Snappy from Dose of Colors. Snappy lip liner. If I compare it to these, it leans a little bit more towards ribbon. It has a little bit more blue tone. It's a little darker than the Lime Crime one, but it's not quite as blue toned as ribbon. So I'm going to use this to contour the outer part of my lip to give it a little bit more grounding. So I'm gonna start off by lightly lining everything, literally just lining it. And then I'm going to shade the outer corners. Now what I like about this technique is that it adds a little bit more dimension to the lip rather than just like putting one color down and making it look a little bit flat. It sort of like rounds out the lip look, particularly if you overline your lips like I do. But you wanna make sure that you're using a color that isn't too, like you don't wanna go in with a blue toned lip liner and then go in with an orange lipstick. I mean, you could if you blend over it, but you wanna make sure that your lip liner is going to, especially if you are doing contouring, has a similar undertone. Now this color could look incredibly shocking and crazy on someone who has very pale pink skin with blue undertones. So you do want to keep that in mind. This is going to be perfect for someone who has like more olive undertones, who leans a little bit more towards yellow, who leans more towards like the warm colors. If you prefer peach blush, this is probably a red lipstick that would look great on you. But do keep in mind that sometimes it can make your teeth look a little bit yellow. So if your teeth are yellow, you might wanna stay away from this color. All right, next up, we're going to go in with ribbon lip liner and do the same thing. Beautiful lip liner glides stunningly. And then let's go in with ribbon lipstick. Oh, have you seen a more like flawless lipstick formula? I'm gonna be so interested in seeing like how these hold up, like how they fade throughout the day. Wow, that's just like stunning. Now, in my opinion, ribbon is that universal red shade. It's saturated enough, like I said, that it sort of creates warmth on the skin, but it has that blue undertone. It's like a magical red. It just is going to look good on every skin tone. And I fucking highly recommend it, goddamn. It also works so beautifully with the lip liner that it came with. Typically, I like to, I almost always like to contour to make a color seem more like, I don't know, structured or rich, but this just doesn't need it. It looks fantastic. And this is the color that is going to make your teeth look super white. In closing, I would say it's almost always a little more safe for you to go more towards blue toned because it's going to be more flattering on your teeth. And if you want to wear a super fiery red, keep in mind that you might need to use a slightly darker lip liner that is going to help ground it a little bit more because that color is almost a little bit unnatural considering the amount of like warmth and saturation that is in it. Like our lip colors tend to just be a little bit more on the neutral side overall, naturally. Adding a ton of warmth to your lip color can end up looking very unnatural. So you might need to just like add a little more structure to it. Uh, I highly recommend the Lime Crime Lip Liner in Firebird. This is a beautiful formula. I love all of their lip liners. Um, but if you are looking for that perfect red, this is amazing. I love the matte finish. Mm, it feels like creamy, but it's not like, it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. And I'm 100% like, in love with the combination with the, uh, using it with the lip, lip liner. I don't even feel like I need to contour it. But if I was going to, just because we're here, uh, I would probably go in with something that is like a deep burgundy shade. 
that's what I like to do. This is the Artist Color Pencil in Free Burgundy by Makeup Forever. I have used this a bunch of times and I do have a video on my three favorite lip looks, which includes a like ombre uh, red lip where I use this, I believe. Pretty sure it's this one. All right guys, so like anything in makeup, keep in mind your undertones. I hope this helped in some way, at least to just see the swatches and see the difference in undertones. Yeah, I guess I'll see in the next one. I don't really know, but honestly, I just love this color and I can't stop staring at it in the monitor.